is KWTX News 10. Today marks exactly 20 years since Carolyn Thomas was shot by her then boyfriend in her Waco apartment. Houston's Alex Fulton talked with a domestic violence survivor who is still healing from her traumatic experience. Gordon and Lauren, Carolyn Thomas got national attention when she did a sit down interview on the Oprah Winfrey show. She also appeared on the cover of People magazine and was nicknamed the woman without a face due to her injuries. Today, 20 years after being shot by her then boyfriend, the wounds, both physical and mental, are still there. I mean, you know, like I said, he would always say, if you leave me, I'll kill you. Carolyn I'm Thomas here. says the warning signs were all yeah. there, but she felt like she couldn't I leave. Have. I guess I, did, I didn't really know what extent of crazy that he was. On December 5th, 2003, her boyfriend of eight years, Terrence Kelly, shot her in the face in Waco. He came into the apartment saying somebody was in there. Um, we tried to tell him there was nobody in there but just us. Moments before, he smoked a mixture of marijuana and embalming fluid called wet, which causes hallucinations. On that night, he also shot and killed Carolyn's mother, Janice Reeves. I wasn't really aware of my mom's injuries either at the time. 20 years since the tragedy, Carolyn now lives in Houston, but says memories from the trial still make their way back. Them showing the gun and... Um, showing me a picture of my mom in the morgue. Like, that's something that, you know, those two images I'll never get out. Over the years, Carolyn has received more than 30 facial reconstruction surgeries and could get even more. They're just not like um, surgeries, like, you know, I want to look good, but it's more or less for my well being. You know what I'm saying? She also started a nonprofit called the Voices for All Foundation, hosting domestic violence awareness walks, as well as self-defense classes. Um, I've also um, had donations where I was able to donate um, school supplies, uniforms. Carolyn is turning her adversary into advocacy. I just want women, you know, to know that there is a way out. Right now, Carolyn is working with a film crew out of Austin on a new documentary about her life. You may remember two other films have already been released on the Discovery Channel within the past two decades. Carolyn hopes that this third film will one day premiere at the Sundance Film Festival. In studio, Alex Fulton, KWTX News 10. Carolyn's ex-boyfriend, Terrence Kelly, is currently serving a life sentence at the Huntsville unit. He's eligible for parole in 2033.